Hey, love bugs. It's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, if you feel like the videos just really give you a good vibe or it gave you some insight that you truly needed for the day, give a thumbs up and share. I'll be greatly appreciated. And um, sending so much love, light, compassion, you know, uh, what, what is it? Elevation calmness you know stillness whatever you're needing just to get through your days hours minutes whatever i'm sending that towards you a million times fall anybody who's coming in with nefarious type vibes negative type vibes to come in and try to think you about the block destroy seeking whatever you're trying to do there's not going against uh it's trying to go against the grain of being negative it goes right back to you 20 million times fall as well and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey oh is your massive healing will always bring out the worst in folks don't take it personal it, you know a lot of times we go through different stuff and it's just like it's so hard to not take things personal especially it's just like look I'm on my vibe I'm feeling good why is always got to be somebody that's trying to rain on my parade I'm not even focusing on them I'm just focusing on the things that I'm trying to bring into light for my life you know I see the potential I have and I learn from a lot of different things you know even the bad and the good you know it's always preparing you for the next level and a lot of times we don't understand that because things get so damn hard it go it gets so damn hard and it's trying to tell you recognize your power recognize that because it's just like when you know um it can bring the bad out of people but it also can bring out so so much of the good you know i love being able to do my videos you know um because it always shows people you you can be on the edge you know be be edgy with yourself be controversial you know with me i'm be controversial it's like what the video i put out last week when i was talking about uh what was it uh the soul mastery where you're healing it and when I say I was just straight vulgar you know I'm still sensitive about that because I was like I don't usually talk like that in my videos but man it was it was just like I got pissed I was very tired I don't usually use slangs like that I don't use slurs like that but it's just like you know I'm like sorry not sorry but I, it was at that point where I said I'm tired of being tired I see how different people try to take me out I see how people try to you know uh call me fake or you know trying to sound fraudulent about nothing about any everything that comes out of my mouth but it's just like I always have receipts to back up the stuff that I do you know I just don't have time for that if you don't believe me you know I'm not gonna go all the way out my way you know to try to prove to you that I'm telling the truth is either you believe in me or you don't you support me and you don't it you know either way it's still gonna be good for me because it's not gonna stop me from doing what I need to do and you know going through these different things has not been easy you know and it's just being able to tell my story being able to show y'all the different things that I've gone through and the experience that I struggle to overcome to heal from it's not easy but these are the different things to show you you dope <laughs> you are straight dope you are lit in every kind of way you're the whole flex of a new flex you know and it's just like with us we, we don't we don't flow like other people do and that a lot of times when you're doing that you're stepping in your truth where you're being unapologetic you have to be unapologetic about what you're doing well you know you're going out there to create better for yourself you're trying to leave a legacy that you you know you're trying to make sure that mess goes for a long time you know and being that person that are breaking generational curses you don't have a lot of battles that's coming towards your way where there's so many different people trying to stop you from doing that or people want to uh you know put obstacles in your way obstacles in your way um to make you doubt you know good things are not coming for you good is not going to be able to take place into your life it's just not your time yes this is your time you know a lot of times you don't realize a lot of people just be putting up these smoke and mirrors and these illusions like that because they're hoping you block your own blessings they want you to self-sabotage this is all those things like nah <laughs> nah I ain't about to do that these are the different things that's taking place into my life that's really helping me heal, helping me learn. There'll be different times where I may be pissed off at the world. I don't want to be bothered, you know, or it'll be different things that I'm ready to go fight. Anybody who keep on trying to get up in my way and try to stop me. And it's just like, you cannot stop me. 
only God can stop what I got going on. You know, there's always a way around something. No is always the next opportunity to come better. And, you know, in these different things, there'll be times we're going to fail. There'll be times we're going to have constant setbacks. There'll be times that, you know, we make these hasty decisions and it end up, you know, blowing us like 20 paces back, you know, just for the mistakes that we make. But these are the times, it's like a lot of times those take place for you to be able to see the bigger picture and be able to learn the lessons behind the mistakes that you have. And these are the different things that takes place to where you can truly appreciate it. You know, it shows your strength. It's showing you to be transparent. I always had to be transparent because I see how, you know, uh, there's a lot of people out there that step in their truth and they're boldly being able to do that. And it's so loving. It's so, you know, it's so, ooh, it'll be one of those vibes like, dad, I'm digging that person's vibe. I'm digging that, you know, and it'll make you just want to be able to believe in yourself a lot more because there's a lot of people that can relate to the truth trivial stuff that you go through day in and day out you know and just being able to be transparent with that that's why I love being able to do what I do you know because there'll be a lot of times people want to challenge me on that and I mean that's cool you know and be you know it is what it is and it'll be different times where you know okay I see you trying to constantly throw rocks you know throw rocks in glass houses I am not about the best with that <laughs> you know be different times where I'll actually respond to the stupidity or I'll respond to the negativity when it, when I know it's coming out passive-aggressive there there's times that people ask stuff because they really don't know and they're just trying to get you know that 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 vibe of information is like yeah I'm digging what you're saying you know want to ask more questions I don't mind that I don't mind that but it will be at that time where I've healed so much and I experienced so much I know the difference between people trying to be passive aggressive with me or you got some up your sleeve or you got some hidden intentions that I'm really not going to mess with you know and those different things in your life and you know you and things will really hit heavy for you and this is when when you allow yourself to be able to say you know universe I want to be open I want to be taught you know I want to be able to see my strength in every way and it's like when we do that you got to prepare yourself they're gonna put you on a roller coaster that <laughs> is gonna take your breath away you get you mean one of those stuck faces and stuff like that and you go through different things like this but this is what you you know when you ask to be able to learn you have to be able to know this is not for the weak at heart these are the different things going to challenge you you're going to be happy one minute be grateful everything you be ready to fight god and every god daggone thing that's coming in to challenge you you know you're going to be those different days you'll be like i hate you and hate the world and hate this you know it's going to put you in a whole lot of different emotions but these are the different things you know this is how we learn this is how we strengthen ourselves because it's like if everything got to be very minute or or petty you really think you're going to strengthen by that you know if you see how many times you're trying to aim like you got a, a target like you got tunnel vision like i know this is what I, I was created for i know this is what i made for and i'm on my grind with this you're going to have different things that's going to make you you know those distractions those illusions those smoke and mirrors these are the different things that's going to take place into your life and you're trying to understand why every time i'm trying to move forward is always something like this they want to keep stopping me or i got somebody here just trying to go up in my ear make try to put breathe fear and doubt into my life these are the different things it's like these these things are coming into your life to be able to show you never lose focus on what's truly important to you you're going to have these different times where you're going to be upset you know and different things and it's just like i have to be able to tell myself at time i'm proud of myself because i know how i roll i know how i used to roll and that was very very violent you know and I was just like I'm so glad I'm not who I was before because I'll leave it there you know I'll start leave it there like oh you want to be about it we can take it to the streets it's no problem you know I have no problem with that I got a lot of stuff I'm ready to release and this mess ain't good you know but it'll be at that point where why am I allowing that person's insecurities to take me out of my character why am I allowing that person they always bringing a bone because they want to take something back or they always want you know to pull you out because they want you to let your guard down people don't like it when you put up boundaries okay people don't like that and when you sit up there and say I say what I said I'm not gonna argue with you you know it is what it is you want to argue you're talking to yourself get in front of that mirror because that's the only thing that's gonna be arguing back and forth with you not me and it was just at that point where I, I used to always tell universe I'm ready to learn I'm ready to know my truth and it's like that truth it'll be remind me of damn Pharrell that song Lemon with, <laughs> with that on Rihanna too it's like the truth will set you free but first it'll piss you off you know and it'll be one of those different things and it, it, it's just like when you go through stuff like that when you really know what your truth is and it's just like wait a minute you're trying to tell me my whole life was you know a lie and all these different things and this is what I choose to believe in it wasn't even true in the first place yes 
your life was really like that. And then it's just that that time you're breaking away from everything that was a lie, everything that was feared, everything that was taught you. Stuff like that ain't easy because it's like we went through a whole vibe for so long. And then when we finally had the truth in the matter to be able to unfold from that, it's like I'm building up my own truth. You know, I was, you know, raised to believe this, you know, not see this, not touch that, limit myself, you know, not saying that any dream that I have is not possible. You know, all these different things. And it's like only time it's not possible if you're not willing to try. You know, and a lot of times it's going it, it's going to keep on going. It's just like you, you'll be placed on these different things. And it's just like a lot of times you, you're trying to understand. It's like you keep telling me to go this way and I went this way. Next, thing you know, there was a brick wall. You keep telling me this way. And then next, thing you know, it was a brick wall. Then you go this way and there was a lot of people that were standing in front of that door. And, you know, I'm telling me, I, no, it's not meant for me. And then it was just these different things. It's like, you know, universe and God's telling you, if I tell you that's your door, that's your door. And people are trying to stand in front of it. Eventually, they're gonna have to move, or we're gonna push them the hell out of the way, cause that's your door. And these are the different things is coming on, but it's just like you had me going these in this way, and it'll be like, yeah, because I wanted to see if you had faith enough in in me to follow where I was directing you to. Cause a lot of times you had to go through these different directions to be able to see what you were dealing with, what type of people you had to let go of, what type of people that you had to hold on tight to and stay in that strong bond with. Certain things you had to realize and digest. This is your truth, no matter how bad it hurts. This is something that you had to be able to see. So you learn lessons from every direction that you were placed into. But universe is also showing you had faith to be able to listen to what I was going on, what was going on into your life. It's like every thing that I got going on in my life it was just like wow you know you really seeing how deep and desperate people are trying to get to be able to master your truth be able to you know keep you you know with your mouth muted and it'd be like bullshit this is my mouth <laughs> I'm gonna say what the heck I want to say you can't stop me you, you know I'm gonna keep moving if God tell me to speak on I'm gonna speak on it the only person you go ahead and try to go take it to the man because <laughs> I'm gonna still keep saying what I'm saying take it to the man and it'll be those type of things and it's just like when I, I've gone through so much and it, it allowed me to be, you know, my own person, you know, it'd be a lot of times where I had to understand there's going to a lot of, be a lot of people intimidated by that. A lot of people going to be pissed off about that. A lot of people going to be shocked for words like, no, she did not put us out like that. You know, hey, if I'm directed to say what I got to say, I'm going to keep moving like that. I've seen how desperate people are willing to get to shut me up, you know, because it, it, it costs them a lot. It's going to cost them a lot going to end up costing freedom <laughs> you know jail time all these different things but i keep allowing myself to keep moving forward in what i'm doing but i also can be able to say even though these things have been placed on my life when i tell you i've learned the depths of my soul from going through this and it has not been easy it is not you know being in, in a platform like this you have to i'll tell people you have to grow a stick uh, a very thick skin to be able to do that because you're leaving judgment in other people's hands and it's just like you can't judge me you can't, you know, you, you regardless of what people say and want their opinions about what you've gone through or whatever. And I tell people, you can have your opinion all day. It's not going to change my experience. I know what I'm speaking on is facts. I got receipts. I ain't worried about all that. But I was used for my situation to be used as a platform for me to be able to tell my story on different things that a lot of people can really relate to. Because there's a lot of times we go through a lot of different things in life and we don't understand which way is up. Where do I come from here? Where do I go from here? You know, how do I get back up after I've been knocked down so many times? And it's just like, you know, when you get knocked down so many times, it's allowing you to stand back up and recognize there are certain people you can no longer walk with. Okay, you'll be seeing different things that what people are trying to do to really, you know, stay on that journey with you, even though they clearly know as well as you. They're, they're no longer a part of that journey. They have served their purpose. Now it's time for you to move on. And a lot of times those challenges on just you taking your emotion out of different things, allowing your strength to move you instead of you, you know, moving through emotions. A lot of times when we do that, you know, I had to learn with even myself. There, it's, it's like you have to start thinking logically. If you start doing everything by feelings, unless it's by love. You know, you move through love. You move through strength. But you also have to be able to think before you react you have to respond you know even with you moving in silence that is still a strong response because you're allowing yourself to know there's a lot of people that don't want to see you shine there's a lot of people that don't want to see you shine so they put up all these little spiritual traps for you you know as well as they try to play those mind games because your mind is a very very powerful weapon and if they know they can be able to control that 
you know, oh, that's that's it. You know, they got you. But it was just at the time. I used to allow me to be easily manipulated, you know, didn't put up boundaries because I was scared that was going to upset people or people were going to leave me. Now I was like, there's the door. <laughs> I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm going to move for myself. You know, I ain't going to get revenge on you because wherever I am shining, you're going to be able to see it. 20 million miles away, you're still going to be able to see it. That's the best revenge you can ever have on people that try to stop you, block you, hurt you, you know, do anything. You don't have to do that because they were part of that. That was a blessing in disguise for you because you'll see how many different people that try to control your life because they don't have control over the outcomes. Nobody has control over our outcomes. The only thing you can be able to do is just move right. You know, if you want good outcomes to come into your life, you do it honestly. You know, not not blocking and destroying, manipulating and trying to, you know, pull stuff out your butt just to be able to try to block somebody's blessings and expect good things to keep happening for you. You have to be able to allow yourself, you know, I, I was always at that, that point when I knew the truth of my life, when I tell you it, it was about to get real, real. You know, and I was really about to do some very hefty things that I know I was going to pay hard time for if I would have went in those ways. And it would be just at that time where the universe is like, we got you. You just keep moving in your purpose. You, you need to be able to heal and be able to be transparent on the things you heal from. You have to be able to move in silence because there's a lot of things that people don't want to see come out for you. And you have to be very strong and being able to not live in doubt. And a lot of times it's hard for you not to live in doubt when so many things in your surroundings is not showing you something good. And these things are where you have to be able to see what's being hidden from you. Being able to understand there's things going behind the scenes you really don't know that's pulling strings for you. But you had to be able to go through this. Because a lot of times when we're going through a lot of different things into our lives, it, it, it can be very scary. It can be very hurtful. It can be very traumatizing. It'll put you on the edge of where you're really ready to snap. I've been through all those different things, you know. But just being able to have that faith within myself and in the universe, you got this. You know, you're moving. You know, there's a lot of times, you know, you have to take time and be in solitude just to be able to find your own common ground. You know, being able to center yourself. You know, you don't have to be able to, you know, I always tell people, you don't got to announce every little single thing you do on social media, you know, on these platforms. I had to be that way, you know, because there'll be different times where I tell y'all, hey, I'm going out for self-care. And that was just clearly put myself in, in, in enemy lines by being able to tell people I'm going for self-care. And then be wondering why all of a sudden things start triggering me. There are certain things that I felt that was coming towards me that wasn't right. Now it's just like I step back and say it is what it is. Y'all see me when you see me. You don't when you don't, you know, and be all those different things. I'm still going to get my support anyway. And just being able to do that and you when you're allowing yourself to be teachable and anything like that. When I tell people when you're a Hayoka, when I tell you 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 are you walking around trigger happy and you don't even have to be doing nothing, just moving in your peace will trigger the hell out of somebody who's still, still all stuck in their in their wounds. And these are the different things where we're we're all mirroring different things in life you know they'll show you you know you see how this person is just like really on their grind you know they, they you don't really see nothing until they allow themselves to present this is what I'm doing like dang how long you been when it is when it is and when it don't it don't I don't gotta announce what I'm about to do and I always tell people never I had to learn the hard way never tell people what you're about to do you know, I used to get pissed off and tell somebody, this is why I'm going to go da, 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 and they just smile. And I'm wondering why they smiling for, or I can't get this unless I do this. And it'll be, those are the type of people, the main ones be breathing in your energy and you'll be wondering why you all of a sudden you lost interest in certain things. You don't want to do it anymore or different things don't fell through for you because of these things. You are, you allowed yourself to put yourself in situations where there's, there's energy that really is jealous of you. There's energy that fears your come up, your blow up. You know, they, they fear, especially if they know they're not going to be able to be attached to that. You know, they're going to do everything to block that. And it'll be just different times, you know, when you know it's set in stone and cannot be destroyed, crumbled, or, or you know, manipulated in kind of way. And when you choose to want to present that to the to the world, you do that. Other than that, you know, a lot of them like, God, dog, when did this happen? Oh, boo, I thought I told you. Not. <laughs> you know, you got to be able to do that. And it will be those different things. You know, everybody got their secrets around you. Everybody's doing what they got to do best. Now it's time for you to do it too. 
you know but you have to be able to understand there's a lot of different things that's going to be rocky on your road it's not going to be smooth sailing for you anything that's going to be huge coming out as a blessing for you never imagine it's never going to come it's never going to come easy for you and these are the different things that you learn so much from. And, you know, I learned a lot from my, my situation. You know, I keep to myself. I'm in solitude. You know, um, there'll be times where I, you know, I'll, I'll poke my head out and it'll be different. You know, hey, Roz, what you doing? This and this and that. Or, you know, I connect people on one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that. And it'll be different things where even with people that I love and, you know, want to stay connected to, universal be giving many signs. Hey. That, that experience with that person is already expired. It's time for you to break bread, let go, and keep moving. You know, everything is happening the way it happens. And you had to be able to do that. And, you know, it's not easy to be able to do that because I was the type of person I felt like I always had to be around somebody. I didn't like being alone with my thoughts. So be a lot of things is coming up and not realizing, you know, um, you know, I thought I had a burp. Um, that th these were my my gifts that was coming up and I when I tell you it put me in a very uncomfortable vibration now I'm like I don't like being alone with my thoughts you know these are the weirdest things that's going on people are like what the heck is going on with you and these are the people that are asleep and didn't know it but there would be different people that had this type of you know jealous vibe or intimidating vibe they knew what I was going through they just didn't want to tell me so it, it was just at that time when I can really sit back and see how my life unfolded and it was stuff that you know I just be like how could I be so stupid how can I be naive you know and not see what was going on in front of me and it'll be just like be easy on yourself you didn't know you know what you know now now it's like when you're moving you're being more teachable you're being more open you be able to appreciate all the experiences you've gone through you know when you be so positive negative is not going to want to be around you you know you be having to, hey let me call you back i gotta go open the refrigerator real quick hey let me call you back I, you know i gotta go stir my pot real quick it'll be different stuff like that because it's just a fact when you're moving like that it triggers something it's like you know people start you know comparing their journey to yours or they'll start comparing your gifts to theirs so it's like everybody's journey is different there's a lot of things that we can teach and learn from each other from it don't need you don't need to be flowing through ego like that like you, you being real hateful towards that person that was sent just to help you and there's a lot of times it's like that you know a lot of times people going to understand your karma gonna really hit deep where people that came in to try to bless you you're gonna block your blessings because that they're gonna jealous spirit your butt be having and it is what it is and it's just like you you know even if you have to go on that journey alone it's okay because it'll be at that time where you're gonna meet people that's gonna want be inspired by your growth they're gonna see your power and really encourage you to keep going you're doing a great job you know allow yourself to keep moving don't allow anybody and you know whatever vibes they're trying to push towards you to make you doubt yourself allow that to be that ammunition to know they see you close to something they see that something good is about to happen in your life so they want to breathe doubt and fear into your life you allow yourself like ah, you keep that fear and doubt over there I know what I believe in. I know where I'm going. You know, I have a guess on where I'm going. It'll be that, you know, you'll be having that snippet and not realizing that was just a little inkling of what something huge is about to take place in your life. God will only show you a little bit like this is how your life can be. You know, this is how your life can be. And you're like, wow, how am I going to be able to do that? I ain't got this, 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 and that. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. Just keep on, you know, keep moving. Because a lot of times we feel like we got to know what's going on X, Y, Z. You know, and God's just allowing yourself to just be okay with this A. You know, until we eventually put you to the beat. Because it's like a lot of times when we're healing from stuff, when you're healing from a lot of things, it's like you using, you know, you playing a game, a video game. You already know the, the more you win, the more you win on that end of that cycle of that, that level. When you go towards a different one, it's going to add more, you know, things that's going to come in. You know, it made me think about Mario Brothers. Y'all don't, 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 don't do that to me. Because <laughs> I just played Mario Brothers. Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, what was it? Uh, Miss Pac-Man. You know, um, Duck Hunt. All those different things. And it's like every, you know, every level you go through, you want to have different strategies. You want to have different, you know, things that's coming at you. You know, then it's like when you start hitting them things and mushrooms come out, then you get huge. You know, and stuff like that. And that's how life is. You know, the more you heal, the more it's like new level, different devils. You, you going through this stuff and you have to be able to be on point about it. And just now, it's just like what I'm telling you, when you start healing more, you'll start feeling them vibes. It's not, not right. It's not, you know, it's pushing out some very heavy energy. Like, what you doing? 
you know, and you'll be able to see it. And you'll be like, oh yeah, this is just maybe trying to convince you of one thing. You'll be like, oh, that's a whole damn lie. But okay, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. It sounds good. <laughs> that's your story. I'll let you tell it. And it'll be those different things. This is just at those times. Every every second guess that you got is showing you. You know, when you when you needed that that reassurance on. You know, am I doing the right thing? Am I going the right way? You know, if you know you're doing everything by the book you know you're doing things honestly you're actually putting work in for these things you're allowing yourself to forgive the unforgivable and i mean that's the tough thing when you're healing away from ego and you're diminishing that when you diminish ego that means when you're on a whole new level of life because you're not allowing things to get personal with you you're allowing you know you're, you're allowing yourself to move on when you even when you see the enemy is doing everything it possibly can to tear you down you know, and they'll be at that point where you have to understand common sense is not that common when it comes to certain things with people. You know, you, you can be at that vibe where you're seeing everything that you're doing towards a person or a group of people is not working because you're in your purpose. If these are the different things that's coming in and actually makes initial contact with that person, it's not going to destroy them. But they're going to use a lot of lessons. Those are, you know, coming in for lessons that you needed to learn. And a lot of times those things can shake you to the core. Like, I, I didn't do, what did I do to deserve this from these people? I place love, I place support, this and this and that. And this is what you do. You stab me in my back, you use me, you play me and all this stuff. And and it's just showing you when you are going on a journey to where it's going to blow you out the frame. They're going to show you the true intentions that everybody around you that you had love for, that you have care for, you want to place support in. You want to see, you know, or God is just going to wipe you clean and you just ain't going to have really nothing. And you're going to see the true character of people that feel like they think they're not going to need you. You know, they be like, okay, that mess can really hurt and it really hurt deep. And then when it's like you part of that glow up, all of a sudden these people that didn't believe in you, these people that wanted to mooch off of you, these people that really talked hateful about you, gonna want to have their hand out. And I be like, nope. <laughs> you know, it was like, where were you at when I was going through that? You made me believe that. Well, I forgot that song. Like, where your ass was at? Da -da 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 -da. Where your ass was at? You know, it'd be one of those different things. Where were you at when I was struggling? Where were you at when I felt lost? Where were you at when I really needed you like I was there for you? You know, and all those different things. And it'll be at that point. Don't get mad. They just showed you where their loyalty was. And then a lot of times when, when you feel like, no, that loyalty was with themselves. No, they didn't even have loyalty for themselves. Because if they knew when they seen a blessing like that coming through the vibrations of you, they'll be loyal to, loyal to themselves that be loyal to you. You know, and that was this type of vibe. Like this person is genuine. You don't have, you know, you, you you be that type of person. You know, you can come into somebody's life that's always used to somebody taking, 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 taking from them, and you actually come in and you can be the real deal, Holyfield. You know, and be that person. You want to see them thrive. You want to see the best come out of them. Wanting them to be okay. It's okay to feel broken at times, even though you ain't broke. It's just breaking away everything that doesn't exist around you. It, it, it really is. It's like whatever was illusion, whatever was a lie, whatever it was smoking mirrors, that mess is breaking off. And when that go when you're going through that transition, that mess hits deep. You you really start to see things for in, in its purest form. And sometimes it's really hard for you to digest that. You know, it'll make you angry. It it will put you in a vibe to where you just really wanna just you know, you want to just ish on the world. You know, anything that happens like that, it's just like, why does this have to constantly happen to me? When you have a good heart, and there's a lot of times you have to understand when, when you're empathetic or uh, you, you, you go through empathy and stuff like that. A lot of times they, they people think that's short, short term for idiot. You know, and it'll be those times I, I used to be saying, how, how can I not see what was going on? How can I be so stupid and believe stuff like that? It's like, don't put you down. You just had a kind heart. You would think that I'm not doing that to that person. And then just because you're good to somebody don't mean, you know, they're always going to be guaranteed surefire going to be good to you. It, it's just, it doesn't work that way. You know, but it just shows you how that person is. And it's just like when they show you who they truly are, believe that mess. Don't get comfortable with, you know, keeping red flags. You know, I had to be able to be about that because I would see so many red flags and I always came out with lame excuses. And it's just like, no, this person is truly showing you what they are. You cannot have a blessing without them attached to it. Anything that goes good on into your life, they want to, you know, constantly, you know, block all that stuff going on into your life. You know, this is a person that never want to see you, you know, happy. Or And then you have some people that just love to see you happy. And they, you know, they understand it's like, there'll be some people like, how do you do it? You know, how do you do it? And it's just like, you have to keep it real with yourself. 
you know you don't have to tell everybody a b c and d about you know i was going through this and this and that i had to learn that too you know i would tell people what people used to do to hurt me and then when they start living through that that ego all of a sudden they start doing the same thing the last person claimed that they weren't going to do and it became a ripple effect and it was just like what are you learning from that not everybody needs to know about the stuff i go on what goes on in my life now everybody needs to understand the purpose behind the things that i do if it's meant for them to you know to find out and they stumble up on it then they do what they do if not i had to quit telling people you know until universe was like okay you gotta talk about this i thought you told me to keep my mouth shut about it no it's your turn <laughs> don't ask the reason why we're telling you to start talking about it just do that you know and i don't get to know the drift of what they're you know they're doing until after it's done it's like oh, okay you were just trying to you know you know wash out all the people that are not there for me for good intentions or you know when that truth came out how many people you gonna stand by and it was actually truthful you know they're like dad you know i see what you've gone through and that's crazy but it's amazing how you don't bounce back from all these things that were sent to destroy you and these are the different things that you are you there's a lot of times we're placed in certain situations that it'll be hard to even just wrap around this is what happened to you this is the things that was like man how did you get through that because there's a lot of times y'all on stuff here and told me about the stuff y'all gone through and it'll have me dumbfounded like dude bruh <laughs> you are you okay you know or be different things like you can see people that are just on that grind of being hateful like damn how many people don't took your toys away did you have anybody who just didn't pick you for you know dodgeball is this what what's wrong with you you know be certain situations like that but these are the different things just telling you keep moving keep staying strong keep believing in yourself regardless on who don't believe in you believe in yourself a lot of times those journeys become lonely but it will be a time where you're going to connect with people that want to see the best out of you they want to see you thrive they're admiring the strength that you have to do what you do it gives them that encouragement you know i always tell people my quote is like you don't know how inspiring you are to an ins you, you don't know how much of an inspiration you are to other people that you're inspiring you don't know what people are watching you know, there'll be a lot of people that are, you know, you have to stay, you know, keep, you know, your eyes on people that are always watching you, but ain't never complimenting you for the moves that you're making. You got to be everything like, okay, you got to go. And he was like, no, you, you're a surveillance camera. You're a rat. You know, you, you try to go back and, you know, have something to run and go tell that to. You know, it'll be different things like that. But then you're, you're, you know, there'll be different people that are really going to admire the things that you're doing and, and it's just like it makes them look at their life you know because we always feel in life that people don't understand that the stuff that we're going through you don't understand the pain that i live with every day and a lot of times it's like when you're that person that always uplifting somebody you don't realize those are certain people that are lonely those are the certain people that don't feel love around them but they want to be able to place that on other people that's compassion that, that you know they're compassionate about that they hold that strength within them even though I was neglected I didn't have people that really truly believed in me I didn't have that constant love you know this this and this and that and so they know what that felt like so they're sitting up here they're they're encouraging people say I believe in you you know you know it'll be different people that that'll come to me and hit me up on DMs or you know uh, Instagram or my emails and say Raj you know I'm trying to you know get my my you know my content off the ground you know how you're doing this and I had to be able to tell them, I said you have to be able to have a tough skin, you know. And I ask them, you know, what what are you, what is your content going to be about? You know, there's a lot of people that do gaming, or there's a lot of people that do celebrity gossip. There's a lot of people that do tarot readings, do what I do, motivational speaker. You know, you're using your experience to be able to uplift yourself. You're learning through these different things. I learn through all my videos. There's sometimes I'll be in doubt about stuff, and I'll go back and something will be guiding me back to go look at yourself from this video. Now you're feeling that. You knew exactly what you were talking about. There'll be sometimes I'll cry and say, girl, I'm so proud of you. You know, I'll be one of them ugly cries. And I'll be just like, dang, you know, you've grown so much. Because it's like, I don't, you know, anybody from my past, they can come back and be like, girl, what the hell happened to you? You know, it'll be truth, pain, hurt, you know, being able to uh, acceptance, you know, appreciation. You know, all those different things that really took me aback. But being able to show, you know, now you, you walking around beast mode, like you being unapologetic about anything. If I hurt you, it wasn't intentional. But if you came at me the wrong way, baby, you, you already set yourself up for a dummy mission. That's straight suicide. 
don't do that. You know, it'll be one of those different things. But then it's just like I learn from those different things that come at me when I'm not paying attention. The different things that come at me from enemies that are really not wanting to see me, you know, move on in life. Not nothing, anything to come better into that. And I also have to appreciate that too because all these things are we're needing to be able to elevate ourselves, you know, being able to go on to that, you know, transition, you know, trans ascension, you know, that's surpassing everything that you thought, whatever gold, pinnacle, accolade you thought you were going to hear, you're on way up echelon. It'll be those different type of things. But these are the things that, you know, where you know, and I tell people all the time, don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. If you got to take a pause for the cause, you go ahead and do that. But you better come harder than the, the time that you fell back because certain things that didn't go away. Or, you know, you had plans that didn't come through. They fell through. You know, these are the different things that's challenging and seeing how much you're going to believe into yourself. How much are you going to see? You know, if you got people that's constantly trying to block you, trying to do this, you know, all that. They have faith in you. That's the reason why they're doing that. God sent them to do that. You know, and I had to be able to, I'm like, you know what, you about to have me in jail. No, it's not. <laughs> no, I'm not. This is teaching you to be able to do what you need to do no matter what is coming your way. You keep moving. These are distractions to saying, are you worried about what this person is doing? Are you worried about what that person thinks? Are you worried about what that person is saying? Are you worried about all the groups that they bring in to, you know, to ambush you and stuff like that? Or are you going to be more, you know, more focused and you ain't afraid of nothing? But being more focused on what are you trying to bring into your life? What are you trying to be able to highly connect to? Because the things that we about to give you with, you won't understand why there were so many daggone people. That was trying to stop you. You don't have so many people that was trying to silence you. So many people trying to kill you, take you out. All these different things. They didn't want that truth to come out. You're gonna go through all those different things. And when you move unapologetically, you know, you shoot, you better respect the game and keep moving. You know, you ain't got time to be babysitting other folks because they, you know, they they, they want to be able to the derail you off of your your you know off of your path you cannot be doing that it's just like oh i see what your purpose is thank you i appreciate it let me keep moving moving accordingly you're not you know or different people are trying to oh you think you can do this you know different people i used to have people come back and tell me you know how many views that person got this isn't it i really don't care you know it's like oh well they're doing it. okay but okay they did celebrity gossip a lot of people love gossip a lot of people like dirt a lot of people like you know wanting to spill tea and stuff like that i'm talking about certain things that will help people grow you know people be standing in their truth a lot of people didn't like that but i had to be able to understand god kept me in the darkness and low low level for a minute and i'm not talking about low level and energy a lot of people weren't able to connect with you in that way because you are still learning you are still growing you're still detaching from things that are no longer serving you. You weren't at that vibration for them to be open, to be able to see you. Because there are a lot of times, like, I'll see different videos like, dang, like 15 minutes and they already got, like, 2.5K or whatever. And it's just like, you, you, I can't judge my life on that person's life. I'm, I'm just coming in on a chapter 20 when I'm on a chapter 1. How am I going to sit up here and, and be mad about what that person got going on I don't know what they sacrificed I don't know what they went through I don't know what kind of connections they had I don't know what where else they're showing their content at you know some of these people got snapchat tiktok and all this other stuff or they may have known somebody that's been in the YouTube industry or you know on these social media uh uh, you know content um, industries that's been out there that knows people that knows people you don't know that person could have got that jump start and had that help and all of a sudden shoot they didn't really have to put in work you got all these people doing that because they had you know uh, you know Sloan or you know Paris uh, Million or you know Lovely T or somebody like that that you know put them on game like that and all of a sudden they had all these people coming out but then God was like no I made you different you know yeah I'm gonna make you really put in work so it's just like a lot of times when stuff like that happens it can be hard trust me I said, I've been doing this almost close to seven years and it, it really felt like it wasn't getting off on it but it's like the energy I had to step back and see you know I wanted you to be able to go through this so nobody can't say it was handed to you or nobody can't say oh she got this because she related to this that and a third you know you did this from your blood sweat and tears you done came up from the trenches and you now you way up on top of that mountain that nobody can't knock you off of because you worked your way up to the top 
You didn't have to sleep with nobody. You ain't had to lie about certain things. You had to, you know, attach certain things to you. You were able to do this from changes, from acceptance, from being very transparent, keeping it real than real. You know, allowing yourself to show that you're unapologetic. You know, with everything that you do, you're not coming out to be able to dog nobody or whatever. You speak in truth. You have receipts behind that truth. You being honest about the different things that don't, you know, had you feeling like you came up short. All that that becomes to the point where somebody's gonna really respect you on your flow, respect you on how you move through things, cause it shows other people that you know they really you know there've been people that's been with me for years, and they tell me Roslyn, you are so much different than what you were, because you can look back at my videos, you know, and I I, I sit up here and placed out certain things that was very shameful to my life, but I'm showing people, you know, how many people are out here they keep these little secrets, or you see how people hold things over people's heads, saying oh. Okay, if you don't do this, do do that. People use to control people with the dirt that they find on people. And I'm like, you are not about to sit up here and get rich off of my stuff. Because I already told that. Y'all tell people real quick, yeah, you might find a mug shot. You know, whatever. I, I told people, yeah, I used to dance. I used to be addicted to opiates. I used to be a functional weed head. You know, I used to drink. I used to self-harm. You know, and all these, di used to, you know, these different things. You know, I shoplifted. I used to dance. All these different things that, you know, I can allow myself to keep moving because that made me a better person. When I can allow myself to come out and be like, I did that. There, these are the different things I'm not, you know, uh, proud of what I did, but I did what I had to do to support my children. You know, I was starting to have kids at 16, you know, and these are the different things that, you know, kids don't come with instruction manuals. You know, I was toxic towards my kids because I was normalizing toxicity. I was normalizing, you know, uh, negativity, narcissistic traits and all those other things, manipulation, all that. And I had to be able to be honest about that. You know, when I knew what I was sitting up here, you know, breathing into my kids, it was like a next generation of where you're broken or you're looking for love out from other people and approval from other people without doing it towards yourself I had to really learn that and that mess wasn't easy and in being able to do that you don't know how strong you are because there's so many people that won't apologize to their kids about you know I messed you up and my bad you know and it'll be one of those situations even though it's not that simple but I would tell my kids you know I wasn't the best mom in the world but I did what I could do you know and, you know, I'm sorry about all the hurt and pain I placed in your life and it wasn't intentional. These are the different things that, that showed me when I see people, you got leave the beaver type, you know, uh, supporting the situations. I'm like, what's that? You know, what's that? Even on my mom, I ain't even going to. I ain't even gonna lie, my mom, I was very toxic towards my mom, very disrespectful. And there's so many days that I wish I could turn back time on that because my mom was very loving, you know. But it was at that point where. It was, I was programmed to see her in the most hateful way. You know, I feel that energy when I deal with, with my kids. And it's like, oh, okay, I already know what that's attached to. I know who it's attached to, you know. And it'll be my mom is the main one who only loved me, you know. And it'll be that one that I really shitted on. And I had to be able to, you know, I'm like, mom, I'm sorry. You know, there'll be different times where I think about her, you know, because her, uh, her anniversary was on the second. You know, I haven't, my mom passed away in 2005 and that was something that is still hard to this day you know it reminds me a lot of different things that I wish I still had my mom here for you know and that's why after I've gone through what I've gone through where I really don't have any kind of parents that I can go to you know it was just like me and my dad we were like you know that's my ace my a1 since day one we're best friends you know even though he has passed away I talk to him every day you know that love is still there and it, it grows stronger every day and it makes me grateful that even though they have passed on that love is still there to keep going and it is just like you're going through these different things in your life and it's like it's not easy it really is not easy to surpass the different things that, you know, it will put you in a corner and won't make you cry. Or it will be different times when you feel like you don't have what it takes to keep going. And these are the things that's like giving you that opportunity to do that. And it, it's just like, it's really crazy. You know, especially when you're going through all these different things and you're really trying to understand this is what I'm going through. This is my life. And I'm really trying to make the best of it. You know, and when you're doing that, there's a lot of people who are going to take that personal. But you, you know, because when people are so used to seeing you a certain way or the fact is they see the good in you and they always try to paint an ugly picture of you. You know, I, I have to deal with that within my family. You know, I had no support. You know, when it was just like when I started telling that truth, it, it was already, 
you know, you're already starting to paint an image of me being this evil villain because you already knew what kind of, you know, intentions you were about to really just come in and just bulldoze my whole life. And it's like the things that I went through was so emotionally, mentally, spiritually, sexually just scarring to me. You know, and I had to be able to stand up tall and say, this is what I went through. I don't see myself as a victim. I'm overcoming everything that meant to, sent to destroy me. I'm elevating in different ways where everybody tried to hold me down. You know, and all these different things. And when I can tell you, I'm not going to be sorry for the healing I'm going through. I'm not going to be sorry because I'm allowing myself to be in my truth. Where if it disturbs you, baby, that's more of a personal problem than my problem. I'm going to allow myself to stay focused on me. You know, and there'll be different times where you're going to have people they'll be more focused on the changes you're making you know making uh making way and they're keeping a dag on you know notes so they can see where we got to destroy this we need to put somebody in that we need to throw throw a, a haymaker on her or we need to throw a haymaker on him we got to throw some doubt and fear into that situation we ought to poke and make fun of the certain things that we know that they're very sensitive about these are the different things that they want because the fact is they see you carry that potential and they don't want you to know that you had that the whole time you are a winner this whole time they need you to go ahead and fail for you to be able to understand you are a winner this whole time or you are powerful this whole time or you you know you are in your moment of weakness now you're moving on in your strength and it's okay it is really okay you're going through all these different things in life and these things is really just you know, it conflicts to be able to elevate. But I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I don't, it's like all these, I'm going through so much damn ascension right now. I'm sitting up here sucking on that on spearmints. I'm looking like, I'm looking at my tongue like, what the hell? And it's just like, I've been sitting up here sucking on these dagon spearmints, you know, because it's like nauseating and all that stuff with all these different changes you're going through, being steady, you know, dehydrated. Like I'm drinking water out the yin yang between water and green tea. And I'm still feeling like I'm dehydrated. All these different changes is going on and with myself. It is really working my last nerve, but I'm like, it is what it is, honey. But anyways, uh, the po uh, post notification shout out. I'm talking to a sister from another mister. Storm, much love to you. Love you, baby girl. Uh, Stone Soup, much love to you. Welcome to the family. Marilee uh, Chu, I love your name. Thank you and welcome to the fam. Thank you for the support. And Timberwolf, as always, much love to you. If you're new to the channel, please, you know, uh, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And, um... You know, I just leave all my contact information in, in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to give you a, a deeper understanding about your purpose, why certain things took place, you know, what gifts are, you know, you're projecting through. Because a lot of times we don't know. There's a lot of times people think, or we can even think it's a mental illness and, and it's spiritually a spiritual gift. It, it's like an attribute toward yourself and it's really beautiful. But a lot of times it's being seen as, yeah, don't project that. You're going to be showing the people that you're crazy, you know, and it's actually not that. It's actually a, a beautiful gift. Um, and just be able to help out the best way I can. Excuse me, y'all. And um, just be able to, you know, be able to put in, you know, put in work where I can be able to help out. Whatever we speak on is confidential. Um, I actually started putting up my podcast again, and that's on my community section. It's like it's not the same as my videos, but it's on the same content about hey yogas. Just being able to, you know, focus on the things you can't, con you can control. You know, being able to level up and understand and appreciate every level that you're going through, especially the experience you're going through. It's a lot of times it's hurtful to be able to, you know, say I needed that. If I did not, wouldn't know who I am. These are the different things that's taking place in your life to elevate you. You know, no matter if it knocks you down have you in confusion hurt you whatever is 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 taken that way so um what else uh yeah cash app is down below if you want to uh if you feel generous enough to drop a donation um whatever vibes you're needing to be able to stay on your course of manifestation if you have to say like i say you gotta take a pause for the cause baby girl baby boy go ahead and do that but allow yourself to come back 10 times stronger than you were when you fell back okay so we got to do that knowing your true potential knowing your light don't sleep on yourself stay woke at every means necessary you got enemies and devils trying to always contradict you in your in your light and your purpose and your potential don't do that understand you you are here for a reason and your your choice is really going your choice of presence is really you know really needed out in the world to for this huge change that's taking place so you know much love to you i hope you have a blessed safe weekend or a week i forgot this is the not the weekend this is middle of the week so much love to you peace